Yo guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are finally back with some Premier League of fixtures after what feels like the longest international break in forever, my whole life, it feels like it anyway, we are finally back with some Premier League action with some massive fixtures like Arsenal Liverpool, Chelsea Leicester and Watford hosting Manchester United, it's all to play for who is going to be coming out on top. Who are we joined by today? Absolutely nobody. I'm doing this one on my own. However, next week we will be back with some more guests that you all love to see. But if you guys are excited for this Prem prediction, firstly, let me know down in the comments, what is your most anticipated game of the weekend? What game are you most looking forward to? It doesn't have to be United. What game are you most excited for this weekend? Also, way down there, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into the first game. So, first up, we have got Leicester hosting Chelsea. Both teams coming off big 1-1 draws um, last um, time out. Of course, Chelsea drawing with Burnley, which was a big shock, and uh, Leicester drawing with Leeds. Leicester definitely started the season on the way, way slower side of things, but definitely starting to progress a little bit more, starting to play like the Leicester we know and love in recent weeks. Chelsea, they're three points clear at the top after 11 games. They're flying at the moment. Of course, they got that draw against Burnley, but apart from that, they have been clinical. They have been sat solid defensively, and I do reckon they're going to come away with a big win against mid-table Leicester at the moment. Um, I'm going to say 3-1, 3-1 to Chelsea. Next up, we have got Aston Villa hosting a Brighton. A Brighton side that started off the season like a house on fire. Slowed down a little bit in recent weeks, but still been putting in some massive performances. So don't get that twisted. Brighton are a solid, solid side under Graham Potter. However, Aston Villa, this is their first game under the management of Steven Gerrard. Left Rangers came to the Villa trying to boost them a little bit after going like five losses I believe in a row which is mental but um yeah big first game and I reckon Gerard I don't reckon he's gonna win it I reckon it's gonna be a draw I'm gonna say a really exciting game 2-2 two -two. goals 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 and next up we head over to Turf Moor Burnley hosting a Crystal Palace Crystal Palace a team that I've actually seen quite a lot of their games this season. They do play some really good football under Vieira. The problem is putting the ball in the back of the net. They've done that a couple of times this year in the games such as the 3-0 win against Spurs, but it's the consistency in front of the goal that they have been lacking. They've also got those big games against City that they got a huge result out of, but Burnley... It's Burnley, you know what you're going to expect. They got a proper shithouse 1-1 against Chelsea last time out. And I reckon they might steal a 1-0 here. I'm going to go for a 1-0 for Dyche's men. And next up, a game that I'm very, very interested in. St. James's Park, Newcastle versus Brentford. Of course, Eddie Howe's first game in charge of Newcastle. Newcastle still waiting for their first win of the season. Whereas Brentford started the season mental. Some huge, huge wins. Some big points against the likes of Liverpool. But they've dropped off massively, including a pummeling by the hands of Burnley. And a defeat by the hands of Norwich, can I just add? I don't know. I reckon Eddie Howe's going to get his first win here. I do. I reckon Brentford are falling off massively. And I reckon Newcastle are finally going to get their first win of the season. A solid performance. A 3-0 win. Next up, we head over to Carrow Road. A new, new, not Newcastle. Norwich City versus Southampton. The Southampton side that can be very, very hot and cold as of late. They start playing well, but then they just drop off the next game. They're very much a, depends on how you face them on the day. Kind of like Man United, just not as big quality, I guess. Although some would argue these days. But um, Norwich City, new management, of course. Dean Smith. And I reckon they're going to start a win. I'm going to say a 1-0 win to Norwich. I reckon Norwich have got some decent, decent players. I reckon Dean Smith will be able to utilise them a lot better than Barkner could as of late. And I reckon a solid 1-0 win for Norwich. And next one, the big one for me. We head over to Vicarage Road. Watford host Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's men. Struggling men at the moment, of course. Are coming off some disappointing results in the league. Let's just say that. Um, we need to bounce back. I reckon Ole 
throughout this international break, the rumours from Rodgers, from Zidane has been mental. And I reckon we need a big performance here. I reckon even if we go out there and smash them 5 nil, people are still going to be calling for Oli's head. Which is why we need to start building up some consistency over the next few weeks. We've got the likes of Watford, of course, Chelsea, Arsenal, as well as some massive, massive Champions League games in this next few weeks. And I reckon you've got to start here. Away from home, Claudio Ranieri's men. We've got to pick up a big win here. I'm going to say a 4-0 win for Oli's men. It it might be one of those 4 nils that, if you look at the game, we don't deserve. But I reckon we're going to go out there with a big, big performance. We need one. So this is more wishful thinking. But I'm going to say a big 4-0 win. You heard it here first. Next up, we have Wolves hosting high-flying West Ham United. A West Ham side that, obviously, unless you're a London club, it's kind of becoming everyone's, like, guilty pleasure. Do you know what I mean? The way they put, play football, David Moyes' men are flying. Declan Rice is a machine. You've got Antonio scoring goals for fun. Ben Rama's looking like a baller. You've got Diop looking insane. Zuma, like, their team is insane. They're flying in Europe. They are flying in the Prem. And I can say I've watched a lot of West Ham games this season. And they look absolutely mint. And I reckon West Ham will come away with a pretty convincing win here against Wolves. West Ham, by the way, in third place. They're higher than the likes of Liverpool. I'm not going to sit here and say they're title contenders, but if they keep this form up, you never, ever know. I reckon Wolves, very they play really, really good football under their manager, but West Ham, they're going to get a win here. 2-1. And to end the Saturday, we head over to Anfield. Liverpool versus very, very high-flying Arsenal. Before I get started, I have given Arsenal so much stick this season, and I want to sit here and apologise to every single Arsenal fan because... Listen, um, you would give stick to United, we're going to give stick to Arsenal. It's one of those things. Arsenal have played absolutely phenomenal over the last few weeks. If they win the, this game tomorrow, is a massive game in Arsenal season. I'm not going to sit here and say if they win this, they're going to win the league. Or if they lose this, they're going to get relegated. But if Arsenal can come to Anfield and put in a performance... A really good performance, then you know what? The people start to take them more seriously. Because they're doing really well, but... It's against lesser teams, I guess you could say. Apart from the likes of Spurs, but PF would still argue that anyway. But um, if they can come to Anfield and put in a big performance, PF will start taking them a lot more seriously. Arteta's got on playing some good football. They're in a good momentum of form. I reckon Liverpool will get the win after a shock, I guess you could argue, defeat by the hands of West Ham. I reckon Liverpool will win 3-2. There's going to be goals in this. 3-2 to the Anfield. And as we head to Super Sunday, first start, we head to the Etihad Stadium, Manchester City versus Everton. And Everton side that started with so much promise, but has slowly and slowly just been deteriorating and getting worse and worse and worse under Rafa Benitez. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Their players aren't even that bad. They're just not playing very well under Rafa, but we'll see. We'll see. City. Getting those wins. They're not looking as clinical as they were. Obviously, they beat us last time out, but we're not going to talk about that. I mean, like, they're not talking, they're not looking as clinical as they once were across the whole season, like, season so far without their number nine. But when you, like, Phil Foden, I think, is their top goal scorer in, like, four goals or something in the league. And that says everything you need to know. I think they're going to create, like, 50 chances of the game. But without that number nine, they're going to miss a lot of chances. However, saying that I do reckon they'll win comfortably. 3-0. <laughs> and to end the weekend, we've got Tottenham Hotspur versus Leeds United. Antonio Conte looking for his first win as Spurs manager in the Premier League. That is, of course, coming away with a really disappointing draw against Everton last time out with not even a single shot on target. They didn't concede, though. <laughs> Big up Conte. But, um, yeah, Spurs versus Leeds. I'm, I'm going to say it now. Leeds are going to win. Leeds are going to win 2-1. You've heard it here first. Conte, Conte out. Come on, Conte out. <laughs> but um, yeah, Leeds 2-1. But that is where we're going to end today's prediction. So let me know, like I said at the start down below, what game are you most looking forward to this match week? And what prediction of mine surprised you the most? And why do you disagree or agree with that? But um, yeah, massive, massive thank you for tuning in for today's video. We will be back for another video in the coming days smash the like enjoy subscribe if you're new and i'll see you next time boys peace